All right, so since 2009, local bartenders have been gathering to compete every year in a recipe and cocktail making competition. It's timed. The proceeds from that event benefiting Share Our Strength's No Kid Hungry campaign. It's called Iron Bartender, and the final rounds are coming up tomorrow night. I am once again honored to be the judge or one of the judges for the final rounds for Sunday's competition. And so the bartenders and I headed up to the CCR rooftop for a practice round in Mike's Mix this week. So this is the showcase premiere event uh, for the United States Bartenders Guild chapter here in town. This contest has really uh, done a lot to legitimize the profession of bartending and, and uh, you know, make it uh, a serious thing that you didn't just do in college, that people are doing this as a career. For the audience, it's a show set to music. Some wonderful magic happening on stage with uh, some very strange ingredients that we've had in the past. And a chance to sample the culinary creations. So there'll be a third cocktail, if you will, made off stage, featuring the bartenders and the spirits. So the guests can get it on the action. It's not just the judges that are getting to taste the cocktails that are being made. For the bartenders, it lights a creative spark um, that you might not have otherwise. The winning cocktails are chosen by three judges. Based on aroma, taste, appearance, use of secret ingredient, and use of featured spirit. So that's what we did for WCCO's Iron Bartender Challenge. Every team had Don Julio tequila to pair with our secret ingredient, dragon fruit. It draws its name from a scaly looking exterior, but on the inside, it looks and feels like kiwi, just with a really subtle flavor. Volstead's Emporium is up first, and we've got Darren and Brett here. Guys, what are you making? We are making a dragon fruit swizzle with Don Julio tequila. So we're gonna be pairing that with a Spanish vanilla liqueur and some orgeat, which is an almond syrup, some pineapple juice and a little bit of lime for acid. So this is a drink that we're calling uh, Cadillac Taste. Henry and Simeon are from Hilo Diner. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey, love your jackets. Yeah, thanks so much. What, uh, what did you do for this drink? We went with uh, a little bit of a dragon fruit riff on a Paloma, which is a classic Mexican cocktail, and then paired with some fresh grapefruit juice, a little bit of fresh lime juice, some honey. But we wanted to let the dragon fruit come through a little bit, and it can easily be overpowered. Tyler and Mimi are here from Zenbox. How are you using the dragon fruit? Dragon fruit, uh, it's kind of a tricky ingredient in that there's not a whole lot of flavor. We'll just be muddling it in there, um, just getting all the juice we can out. Cookie Rosa here, again, keeping it light. That's so a nice aperitif wine. Otherwise, we've also got some honey syrup going in there. Again, uh, you're probably adding some nuance to that apricot. And then grenadine, really kind of a very mild cocktail. Katie and Kellen from Ola Arepa, welcome. We are going to go in a little bit of a tropical floral direction, a little bit of Earl Giles honey fresh lemon juice, velvet falernum, which is a Caribbean style liqueur, some guanabana, a uh, Mayan liqueur, mm. bitterman star anise bitters. What do you do with the actual dragon fruit? I'm gonna muddle it in here and I'm gonna try to get that really beautiful, uh, beautiful color. It's actually a little bit more vegetal, so it brings a little bit more flavor. Kylie Burst and web content manager Eric Henderson helped me judge all four cocktails, and we ended up with a two-way tie. All right, the tie for winner of WCCO Iron Bartender is Zenbox and Ola Arepa. So congratulations. You win nothing. So if you want to see the actual competition tomorrow night, tickets are $15 at the door. All that money goes to the No Kid Hungry campaign. The show starts at 6, and your ticket also includes a chance to sample some punches, and you have a chance to enter a raffle as well. Uh, coming up uh, tomorrow, I will be there again starting at 5. Get more information, including those recipes, from the winners at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix.